Kellyanne Conway has coined the term alternative facts, which has brought a lot of controversy to U.S. politics. I'm Pauline Jing, and I'm here at Revolution Books in Berkeley to hear their perspective on the topic and where they believe the country is going. So Revolution Books was founded upon the idea of new communism. Can you briefly tell us what that is and how that can affect us in the future? Sure. Well, new communism is it's, it's sort of like what Marx did in his day, only for now. It's a whole theory and methodology of how humanity can advance beyond capitalism to a, to a whole world where we transcend wars and nations and the oppression and domination of one gender by another and one nationality by another, that this is possible. It's, it's based on a scientific understanding of, the, of reality and it's something that, you know, Bob Avakian, who developed this, has laid a pathway where we can follow it. So this is at the heart of our story. A big part of what's going on right now is that the Trump regime is a fascist regime. And they're implementing an all, with their hammering into place as best they can. Though there's been very powerful opposition, nonetheless, they continue to hammer into place a fascist program of social transformation, moving beyond the rule of law, you listen to their, their Trump spokespeople, it's like, you know, the courts have no right to, to question what the president does in the realm of national security, for example. Trump is 100% right, we played that film, right? And, and in that is a big lie that is repeated and hammered out and, and even a formulation that we have alternative facts, which, which are not facts, they're lies. But this is part of the problem, which also points to the danger that we face. Because, for example, the, a small thing, how many people attended the inaugural? Trump claims the biggest inaugural in all of history anywhere in the world. Complete nonsense. There's pictures that show that, that that's not even close to the, he persists. This is what Hitler did. And, and this is what fascists in general do, which is people are more sort of in resistance but they're not seeking to oust the regime. They don't understand the need to oust the regime. They don't understand it's a fascist regime in a full sense and draw the conclusions from that. And that's what Refuse Fascism is working on, how to develop that understanding and, and, and help develop the kinds of organization that can actually lead people to confront the regime and force it out. In, in, in the, as the circumstances develop. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm Paulina Jane and this is Cal TV News.